Guys, are you ever online just browsing houses, looking to buy a house? Yeah, me either. But, you know, sometimes I like to have a look at some houses, and sometimes I find ones I like. Like, for example, this house right here. It's a house. That's for sure. You know, it's got a little garage, front door, some windows. What more could you want? You know, looking at these pictures, I'm sold. I want to buy this house. Yes, it is £850,000, which is a little bit out of my budget, but, you know, we've got some nice floor in here. We've got some interesting bookshelf. We've got some plants. And you're sold. You want to buy this house. You love it. You know, it's all looking good. You're happy with what you see. And then you scroll onto their living room. And it's a carpet room. Now, I don't just mean the floor's carpet. The walls are carpet as well. And it's green. Out of all of the colours to carpet your walls and your floor in, why green? Look, guys, I love Shrek as much as the next person. In fact, I love Shrek more than the average person. I have a cardboard cut out Shrek in my room. However, I don't love Shrek enough to have a green carpet on my floor, let alone on my walls. I have so many questions, but the way I found this is on a Reddit page, and this page is called Spotted on Right Move. Now, for those who don't know, Right Move is just a website where you basically list houses for sale, and this Reddit page finds the craziest, wildest, and weirdest property listings on there. So yeah, today that is what we're doing. We're gonna have a look through here, trying to find the most cursed property listings we can find. Can it get worse than green carpeted walls? I don't know. We're about to find out. Yeah, let's see what's going on and spotted on right move. Oh, and also, we're back at it again. Sorry, I've got to say it. But we're back at it again. Okay, first thing I see, we got one from six hours ago. The White House in Blackpool. I'm not sure. Oh, it actually is the White House. What the hell? And it says complete with a helipad. Wait, I actually need to see this listed. Someone has made a, a mini version of the White House. This house is for sale for 1.15 million pounds. Apparently has a helipad. I need to see that. I, I just got a helipad. What the hell? It's not very nice inside. I'm not gonna lie. These, what are these banisters? They got some gray carpet. They should probably have made that green. Would have sold it a bit more. But yeah, apart from that, it literally is a replica of the White House. But like one tenth of the size. Right, we've got a post here. Here, bespoke bed is one way of describing it. All quite nice until picture nine when the ominous bed blimp arrives. Okay, this is actually nice. It was right. This is only picture two though. We're gonna get to nine in a minute. So it's a nice little flat. Oh wait, is that the bed blimp? <laughs> what the hell is that? I just see a circle thing. What? Wait, I need to sit. What the? What the hell is that? Wait, how do you even get in this? I don't know what I'm looking at right now. It actually looks quite cool though. It's literally a hanging bed. That's actually sick. Is that a glass door? Oh my gosh, it's a glass door. So wait, is it not hanging? Oh, it's not hanging. Only this part's hanging. And this is the bed blimp. That's actually sick. Why does anyone have this in the house? I mean, it's cool as I said, but it takes up a lot of room. It's just a massive weird thing in your room. That's what I'm talking about, guys. This is what Spotted and Right Move is for, to find random things like that. But yeah, moving on, what else we got? Oh, we got one here. No offers in four years. The most insane house I've ever seen. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Oh my God, is that a real house? Looks like it's like CGI. <laughs> that is an insane house though. Where even is this? 30 million, no wonder it's had no bids. Let's have a look inside. Here we go. What could possibly be inside this monstrosity of a house? This doesn't look like a house. What is this? They've got like a giant gong with a dragon on it. This just feels like a lobby of like a, an office or something. It's cool. It is a bit insane though. What else is going on in here? Got a library. Again, this looks like a library. It doesn't look like someone's house. This just looks so strange. We've got a round table which is pretty weird. I also have a round table in my house, but I didn't choose it, all right? My parents chose it. And I do find it weird. Like when I'm sitting at dinner with my family, it feels like I'm at a conference. It feels like you're in The Traitors. You know the TV show, The Traitors? That's what it feels like. And just the fact it's a circle table in a circle room, it just feels weird. We've got the front door here. Is this a lift? We've got another dragon here. Clearly this person's a big fan of dragons. And yeah. They just got loads of grand. What are these called? Grandfather clocks. <laughs> Why have they got four grandfather clocks? Do you think they will just go off on alarm at the same time of day? The description says meticulous attention to detail has created this sensational architectural masterpiece and one of the finest estates on the Isle of Man. Well, if this is one of the nicest houses on the Isle of Man, there must be no house on the Isle of Man because this is not nice. But there's got to be a more cursed house on it. Oh my gosh, what is this? Just as you thought, green carpet on the wall was bad. Guys, let me introduce to you red carpet in your bathroom. It's a bar bathroom with a red toilet, a red bidet, a white sofa. Why do you need a sofa in your bathroom? But the floor is all carpet and the bath is literally wrapped in carpet. How does anyone see this as a good idea? Is this place still up for sale? I want to see some more. Oh my gosh, look at this building. Looking on the outside, the last thing I would expect is a red carpet bathroom. But no, they've got a red carpet bathroom. Oh, they've also got a bright pink living room. You know what? Fair enough. Oh, there's actually another bathroom, a less red one. This one looks pretty practical. We've got some tiles on the wall, wooden floors. And then we've got the most cursed room of them all, the red carpeted bathroom with a sofa. This is up there, guys. This is up there with one of the most cursed houses I've seen. You know what? I feel like I should be rating these houses on a curse scale. So this one, I'm giving this 8.9 will go. 
It's not quite a nine on the cursed scale, but it's pretty cursed. It could be worse. Based off the last one we reacted to, the giant 30 million circular howl, I'll give that like a three. That wasn't that cursed. It was just very ugly. Green carpet one, I'll give that like a four. That also wasn't too bad. But this one right here, this gives me weird vibes. Will it be beaten? That's what I want to know. Let's try find one that could be worse. I, I need to find one that's at least a nine because there's always room for improvement, right? I don't think we're going to find a 10, but I want to try find a nine at least. Right, here we've got something that sounds interesting. I beg of you to watch the video. You won't regret it. Okay, I'm hoping I won't. The next Never ending property. Let's see this. Is it going to be cursed? I hope so. Right, instantly, strange effects. Wait, what is this? It's a musical? She's giving us a tour, but she's singing the tour? Is this the estate agent or is this the person whose house is? I've never seen someone make a music video to try and sell their house. Oh, she's got a child. Imagine your parents are selling your house and they're like, right, just sit on the sofa with a dog. I'm going to sing a song to try and help sell this house. It's so strange, but it's still so genius. Oh, we've got a bedroom. Nice. Are you not going to sing about it? We've got a gaming chair. We have a gaming chair. <laughs> Imagine she just described everything in the house. Guys, she's missing out on content to sing about here. And there you go, guys. That is the never-ending property. And I want to buy it. You know, guys, if you ever want to sell your house, this is what you have to do. Make a song about it. Because the thing is, if you actually click this, this is a YouTube video. And look how many views this has. Nearly 600,000 views. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong, guys. I need to sing more. Guys, 5,000 likes in this video, and I'll do a singing tour of my room. But yeah, in terms of the curse scale, that's not even on it. That was great vibes, all right? I want to live in the never-ending property now. But hold on. I'm just looking through the comments here, and someone said, I don't even know what to say. It wasn't a one-off. Oh my gosh, she's her again. It wasn't her house. What the hell? I thought this was someone's mom that was like, guys, we're gonna make songs try sell our house. It's not. It's a person that sells houses for a living. That makes it like 10 times worse. To be fair, she sung a banger though, so you can't really be too mad. So yeah, anyway, enough of that. Let's head back. Let's find some more cursed properties, all right? These are two good vibes. I need to find the worst property I possibly can. Oh, I think I may have just found it. What the hell? Literally right under the never ending property. We've got this. Is this even a house anymore? This is just bricks. Unfortunately, there's no link to this one. I wanted to see more. This does look cursed, but I can't rate it because all we can see is one room. The rest might be nice. I very much doubt it because why would the rest of the house be nice and just one house is just full of bricks and rubble? But you never know. I'm not going to judge it by one room, all right? Don't judge a book by its cover. All right, moving on. I want to find a bad one, all right? So far, they've been interesting. Some have been bad, some have been good. But I want to find a really bad one. I want to find the worst one on here. Right, we got one here that says the worst one yet. Yeah, hopefully it is. I want to find the worst one. So there's no preview. We just got to click the link. Okay. This house, the windows up here are looking a bit rusty. But overall, it looks like quite a nice house. It's also for sale for £800,000. So I can't imagine it's that bad. Oh yeah, it's not very nice inside. The front door's literally being held together by tape. That's never a good sign. The walls look dirty. And that's it. You actually can't see inside the house. How are you trying to try and sell a house for £800,000? It actually sold. Someone paid £800,000 for this house. Oh wait, actually, I think you can see inside. It says, now go here to the virtual tour and wander around. Oh. A virtual tour. Here we go, guys. Right, so here we are at the front door. Uh, yeah, this is... Oh my gosh. We got chunks out of the wall. Look at the mold on the walls. Bro, this sold for £800,000. I think we may have found our 9 out of 10, guys. Oh my... Look at the crack in the wall. That's literally... This house is going to fall down. Oh, look at the bed sheets. Bro, is this guy just never throw away anything? He's got like just newspapers everywhere. He just collects them. You know what, guys? I think we've done it. That gets a 9. That gets a 9.5 for me. That is a cursed house. But also a cursed house that's worth £800,000. You couldn't pay me to live in that house for £800,000. That literally just needs to be burnt to the ground. But yeah, guys, on that note, make sure you like the video so I one day can buy a house like this. Well, hopefully not like this. Hopefully a little less cursed. But yeah, guys, it's been George Mason. If you have enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Mason. Over and out. Boom.